Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of dilations and measurements. This is standard 8.10D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a quadrilateral KMPT, and it's dilated by a scale factor of 3 fourths to create KMPT prime. So it's going to get smaller because we're dilating it by uh, something less than 1. And so the perimeter of the original is X. So what is the perimeter of the KMPT prime? So that's the question. How does dilation affect perimeter and area? And so let's just look at the rules and then we'll create an example so you can see what we're talking about. Dilation affects, first we see perimeter. All right, so perimeter is going to be, uh, the word we're going to use is linearly. So that means that as KMPT prime is three quarters smaller, as each of the side lengths become three quarters smaller because of our dilation, our perimeter is going to get three quarters smaller. But, because we just add up all the sides for the perimeter. But area, which we're not necessarily dealing with, but we might have to on future star problems, it's quadratically. So that means that since you're multiplying the side lengths by each other to find the area, it's whatever your dilation squared. So the dilation affects each of these differently. Um, so let's see uh, if we can just create an example of that. So let's say quadrilateral. You know what? They, they didn't tell me what it was, so I am going to say that it's just going to be a square and each side length is going to be one because as long as they don't tell you differently you might as well make it easy on yourself so that's k m p t so that's the original all right so what i want to do is i want to dilate it so it's going to be a little bit smaller all right so i'm going to dilate it down here uh, let's see if I can get it scale. It's not quite as big. There we go. Okay, so this is K prime, M prime, P prime, and T prime. And each of these are three quarters. So that's how the scale factor works. It needs to be three fourths as big as the original. Since my original is one, let's just make it three quarters. Uh, so let's just see what the perimeter of the uh, original is going to be easy. That's 4. All right. So if I scale that down linearly, right, then I'm just going to take 3 quarters of that. If I were to do the area, I'd have to do 3 quarters squared, and that's going to be different. So let's take a look at what is 4 times 3 quarters. All right. Well, if we make 4 into a fraction, it's 4 over 1 times 3 over 4, so that's 12 over 4. Some of you saw that you can just cancel those out. Either way, it's 3. So I think my perimeter is going to be 3. So let's see if that holds true. So 3 quarters plus 3 quarters plus 3 quarters plus 3 quarters. And yep, you see how that's adding up to 12 quarters. So that equals 3. So that's my perimeter prime is going to be three-fourths as large as the original. And three is definitely three-fourths as large as four, because we've already proven that, which means we need to take our original x, multiply it by the dilation, 3.4, the scale factor right there, and we will get our answer. So our answer is g.